What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana back at you with another YouTube video. Today we have huge news for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. A few lucky content creators and of course news outlets actually got the opportunity to play a demo version of the new Scarlet and Violet games for over an hour and they have released a ton of information for what's to come for these games. So today we're going to be going over Game Explains video where he breaks down 20 details that he noticed during his experience playing the games. So if you're new here make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you always stay up to date with the latest Pokemon news whether it's the Scarlet and Violet games, the anime, or even Pokemon Go. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you are a Pokemon fan so we can push it out into the YouTube algorithm so that more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet fans can talk about these new details in the comments. And if you would like another way to support the channel, please feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below in the description that takes you to not only my merch store, but all my other socials so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But honestly, I'm excited, so let's go ahead and just hop right into this. All right, let's find out what these 20 details are gonna be. I'm actually so excited. This is like huge. And look at Belly Bolt, already the cutest little thing. So we put together a list of everything. So this is everything that he's allowed to talk about. Obviously he's not allowed to say like everything because they wanna keep things under wraps until the games actually come out. And apparently this is all just like stock footage that they sent over to him or from other trailers, stills, whatever, just because they're not allowed to show the actual gameplay that they saw while they were playing the demo because obviously they gotta keep some mystery to it. So number one, no initiation. Dang. That's huge. Dang, okay, so apparently in order to battle a like trainer that you see in the wild, they don't like meet your eye line and then want to fight you. You have to actually physically go up to them and initiate the battle. So it's not going to like stop you mid gameplay like it used to where you were just like going through a cave or like in a big grassy area and then a trainer would come out and try to battle you. You have to actually walk up to them and say, hey, I want to battle. And I guess it looks like they're going to have some kind of special Pokeball, like a sparkly one, to know that there's someone that you can actually have a battle again. So that's like completely different. That's interesting. That's like something that's been a thing in Pokemon for since it's like inception. So that's huge that they're actually changing that. Number two, Backstrike is in. Backstrike is in. Okay, so I'm assuming this is kind of like Arceus. Mm. Oh. Dang, okay. So if you hit a Pokemon with a Pokeball from behind, it actually causes them to flinch on the first turn of the battle. So it's not like you can just catch it without battling it, kind of like you did in Arceus where you could just throw the ball from behind without them seeing you and have a chance of catching it. In this game, you throw the ball from behind and it actually causes them to flinch. So you get like a leg up on them when you do battle them and eventually try to catch them. So that's interesting. So that's kind of like a nice mix between like old Pokemon games and like Arceus. Okay, so we still have a little groups, kind of like Arceus. That is so cute! Okay, so... Oh, that's so cute! So the there's like different AI for different Pokémon, and they have personalities, and they literally spectate and react to your battles. Some Pokémon will just be vibing in the field. While some others will come after you, oh my gosh. And others will just Yeah, away. literally. Okay, so the, he's literally saying that they all have different AI. Follow Pokemon and your trainer can react to the weather. Wait, what? For example, it started raining. That's so cute. Frigoraph started excitedly running. Oh, I would die if my Frigoraph was just running around me like happily while I'm over here like hiding because it's raining. That's so cute. I love that. I feel like... Honestly, I feel like things like that are what is going to make people bond with their Pokemon because everybody always complains about like XP share and how it makes them feel like they're not really bonding with Pokemon because they don't have to like put them into battles for them to level up. But I feel like little things like that would make you like get really attached to your Pokemon, like seeing them run around like happily when it's raining or like doing something cute or even like when the wild Pokemon are like spectating and have like little reactions. Like I think that this is like, I, I feel like I would get more attached to that than actually like only battling with them. So now different uniforms. Okay. So it looks like we're not gonna be able to choose the outfits per se, but you do get 
different school uniforms depending on if it's summer, winter, spring, whatever. But that's, that's cute. Oh. Oh, just kidding. Dang. Okay, so we're getting. Oh, that's sick. Okay, just kidding. I was wrong. You can completely customize your character, and apparently it's like the biggest amount of customization. And face customization, which we already kind of saw in the other trailers, but what I've been hearing from other creators too is that this is like super vast and expansive and you can like completely customize like eye shapes, eyelashes, hair colors, and this is from like the get-go. Oh, literally, yeah, it's from the get-go. That's so crazy. So you don't even have to wait to go to like a, like a salon like you did in like other previous Pokemon games where you had to like wait to go into like another building to get a haircut or change your makeup or your eye color or whatever. Okay, Terra Raids. This is what I'm interested in. Not that I'm not interested in customization. Love that. Okay, so it's not like in, it's not like the Dynamax raids where you had to like wait for each person to go. Like everyone just kind of goes all at once. Dang, okay. That's cool. You don't have to wait around. Okay. Okay, they, they gotta fight the grass gym leader that we've already seen. Okay. Melo's battle is an exciting, albeit standard Pokemon battle. Okay. As compared to a gym leader rival versus... So she's on, like, gym leader level. While we can't talk about any of her dialogue... The okay. Exciting, especially following the auto battle... I have tea on this. So... I was reading other articles before I actually watched this video and they were saying that one, Mela's battle is actually kind of hard. And two, somebody spilled the beans. I don't think that they were supposed to, but they said that the Starmobile is actually a Pokemon. Like they literally just were like, yeah, that was my next opponent. I don't know if they were supposed to say that, but it looks like it has now been confirmed that the Starmobile is indeed a Pokemon. But we don't really know what typing it is, but yeah, somebody literally was like, yeah, I fought the Starmobile, which I don't know if they were supposed to say that, but I'm not complaining. Okay, yeah, so he's saying the same thing that the Ace, everyone was saying that her Ace was really hard. <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> they got mad at him for trying to go the back way or like a side way. You had to go to the front. That's funny. Okay, so you had to enter their base from the front. Okay. I like that they're adding like quality of life things so that it makes things just more streamlined and not as like chaotic. That's always good to have in a game, especially because it's a modern game. You gotta keep up with the times. Movement options. Oh, you can slide. Okay, okay, Halo <laughs> with the freaking slides. I love that. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so trainers are not attacked by wild Pokemon like in Arceus, but you can still do like a lot of the cool features like you could in Arceus where you can like sneak up on them and things. The movement options are almost as open as, say, getting the glider in front of the wild. Oh, okay, so Miraidon and Koridon are basically going to let you travel wherever. You can jump, you can climb, whatever. So you don't have to have like separate Pokemon for that. Only one loading zone. Okay, so unlike Arceus, where like if you remember in Arceus, you had to like when you left the town, it was like a loading screen and you had to wait for that and then blah, blah, blah. Like there was a ton of loading screens. What he's saying is that there's only one loading screen when you enter or leave like the main town. But while you're just like out in the wild, there is like basically no loading screens, which I think that's really cool. It's really giving that open world feel for sure. The world as a whole is open and explorable, with very few exceptions. Unlike Legend of Darkness. <laughs> Number 18. You can oh, that's nice. You can change your nickname whenever. I'm definitely like one of those people that always nicknames my Pokemon, so I love that. PC is in your bag. Oh, thank God. <laughs> PC is in the bag. I don't have to go to the Pokemon Center to change out my Pokemon. Thank God. Oh, here's the sandwich thing. So it's a whole mini game. Okay, so it is like the curry. So it doesn't all fall apart. 
and you have to stack it so that it doesn't fall apart. Okay, Jenga. Oh, okay, another thing that I did read about the sandwich feature that he kind of touched on is that it increases the encounter rate of certain Pokemon, is that I did read that there should be a type of sandwich that increases shiny rates. So if you're a shiny hunter, it looks like you're gonna be making some sandwiches because who doesn't want to increase shiny rates? That's super sick. Number 21, picnics award experience and friendship. Okay. With your Pokemon and participating in picnics won't only increase their friendship with you, but it also gives them experience. Oh, nice! Okay, so not only does it increase your your friendship levels with your Pokemon when you feed them and play with them and stuff, but it also gives them XP. Okay, I'm not complaining. That's it. Dang, that was actually really interesting. This game is gonna be huge, I feel like. There's a lot of things that they've improved. I'm sure everyone's gonna complain about the graphics per usual, but like, a lot of this sounds super sick. Dang, I am actually super excited. Honestly, this game sounds like the perfect blend of Legends Arceus and all of the past generations. Because I know my main complaint with Legends Arceus is that it felt like I wasn't really progressing like I was through a normal Pokemon game because it was so different than any other Pokemon game. But this is like keeping the best of both worlds. Like we still have the open world concept. We have the Pokemon with different personalities, but we also have certain storylines that we can progress through so that it feels like you're actually moving forward in the game. I also love that they are including a lot of quality of life things like making the menu more streamlined, having the legendaries be able to do a bunch of different actions and you not having to switch between different Pokemon to do a certain thing. Unlike Arceus where you did have to switch between different Pokemon in order to do things like fly around. And not to mention the sandwich thing, which everybody was hating on when they first announced it. But now we know that it can actually increase the chances of encountering certain Pokemon. So if you're looking for like a dragon type or a grass type or whatever, or a shiny, that's gonna be a huge improvement too. I also think that the pacing of the terror raid is gonna be huge. Because obviously when you did Dynamax adventures, you kind of just had to wait your turn. Whereas the terror raids seem like everybody's gonna be attacking at once. So especially if you're playing with like a group of friends, you're gonna have to strategize and be like, okay, you use this attack, you use this attack. Maybe we should all cheer and heal each other. Since we found out in other trailers that cheering does different things, whether that's increasing attack or healing the team, whatever. So I think that's gonna make terror raids a lot more enjoyable. And speaking of playing with friends, I love that they're letting you customize your character from the get-go. Just because if you are able to access the co-op features relatively early in the game, obviously you would want to look different than your friends if you had like four people that just all look the same, that would be actually insane. So I love that they are letting you customize right from the jump. But those are obviously just my opinions. Of course, I want to hear yours. So go ahead and leave them down below in the comments. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys.